Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. My name is Peter Olwoch, a stock market researcher and investor. I talk to people about the stock market, telling them to save, invest, and grow wealth. Those are the three pillars we are looking at. Today's topic is this, investing in bonds versus investing in the stock market. I know I talk a lot about investing in the stock market, but ladies and gentlemen, we want to agree. As you grow older, as you grow older, you want to invest more on bonds. This is what the finance guru says. Take your age. For example, 100. Or rather, take your age. My age is 40. I'm 40 years now. Now, then take the number 100 and subtract it from your age. So if you take the number 100 and subtract it from your age, you'll, find, you'll get 60. So they say that 60% of your money should be in stocks. And the other 40% should be on bonds. Now, as you grow older, let's say you are 70, then your age, which is 70, should be on bonds. And a little, a lesser percentage, which is 30, should be on stocks. The main reason is simple. As you grow older, stocks can get very risky. They go up, they go down, they go up, they go down, they go up, they go down. So as you get risky, as you get older, you don't have the, the energy to withstand the pressure of the stock market. Can go up, can go down, can go up, can go down. You can also buy bad ones. Like those who go to Chumi, or at River Mining, or Kenya Airways, or Britam, or Centam. Those who bought those shares some five, ten years back, when they were so expensive, they are now in serious pain because those shares have dropped so much in value and in price. So, Jim Kramer. I'll be referring to him a lot for the next uh, 10, 20 days. Jim Kramer says that you should not ignore the interest rates and you should not ignore the bonds. Bonds are stable. The returns is stable. Bonds in most cases is given by the government. And the government is always stable. If it's not stable, it will borrow. So that it gets even stabler, more stable. So you should invest in bonds as you get older. But before you get older, before you reach the 50, save in the stock market and double the money, grow the money quickly. So that as you get older, then you can save a small portion of it in the in the bonds because the bonds is uh, more stable and the bonds don't have that high volatility of the stock market. Stock market is very volatile and that volatility can give old people heart attack, especially when you see your money drop in value. When you see shares drop, because shares drop, they go up, they go down, they go up, they go down, they go up, they go down. That's the nature of the stocks. And that's the nature of the stock market. They are always up and down, up and down. And they are affected by everything. Today they will be affected by politics. Tomorrow they are affected by corona. Another day they are affected by another thing. And so the up and down movement happens a lot and happens many times in the stock market. Thank you ladies and gentlemen. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe. If you're not in our Telegram group, please join our Telegram group. That's where we talk about the stock market 24-7. Thank you. Bye. See you in the next video.